validated. Hope you guys are having a good day on your first day off of school. I hope you had the chance to get outside and enjoy the nice weather. It looks like it's pretty sunny out, so I'm hoping that it's as warm as it is outside. Um, hard to tell. I haven't been outside yet, so I'm just kind of looking out my window now, but it looks great outside. Um, I'm missing you guys already. Hope that you're having a good day. I came up with an idea today that I thought I would try to introduce you to a new artist. Hopefully every day is my goal, but we'll see. I might start running out of artists or um, get busy or something, but hopefully I can keep doing this for you regularly. Now, when I introduce you to these artists, I'm not going to dive quite as deep into them as I do um, on our projects, but I thought they would just be kind of a quick two to four minute video just to introduce you to an artist, kind of talk about their life, and then show you a couple works of art by them. Um, so today, I want to introduce you to one of my favorite artists, and her name is Ursula von Reidingsvard. And Ursula, she is a living artist. Remember that when we talk about living artists, we call them contemporary artists. And Ursula is 74 years old, and she is originally from Germany, but I believe that she spent most of her life in the United States, and I believe she actually lives here now. Now, I had the chance to um, get to see Ursula in person a couple years ago when I was in New York City. I was aware of her work before this, but it was a really cool opportunity to actually get to hear her talk about her work in person. Um, what I love about her work is that she is this kind of smaller, older woman, but she makes these huge, colossal, like monstrosities of sculptures. And the way she makes these is that she takes small blocks of wood. You can actually see it here on the bottom left, all these little squares. Each one of those is its own little block of wood. And she glues them all together. And after they're all glued together, then she takes things like saws and grinders and she starts to like chip away and almost like destroy or um, take away parts of the wood. So she gets these really nice textures on her different sculptures. A lot of her sculptures are inspired by things from nature. Like this one kind of resembles um, nests. Sometimes she almost makes like creatures out of them. This almost look, appears to be something kind of like moving across the ground. Other times she's inspired by things like vessels, and a vessel is like a cup or a vase. Um, so she's very inspired by a lot of different things. Now, after she's glued all these little pieces of wood together and she's used those saws and those grinders to start to remove parts of the wood, when she's all done, the last thing she does is she takes something called graphite. And graphite is what the tip of your pencil is made out of. I know we call it um, lead, but it's actually graphite. And she'll take powdered graphite and she'll actually rub it all over her artwork and what this does is it makes the wood actually look kind of old it starts to take on like gray and black spots like it's weathered or been out in the um, sun and rain and snow and just kind of gives her artwork a little bit more character um, that's about all I have to say for Ursula von Reidingsvard today. I hope that you guys enjoyed my video. Keep an eye out um, for some more artists in the future. And I hope you guys are being safe and being healthy. And make sure that to get outside and enjoy the fresh air too while we can, guys. All right, have a good one.